Hi, friends, and welcome to Brick House Bones, episode 27, where we are doing the four H's today. We're doing hands behind the back, hang 10, halos, and heismans. These are four new exercises in the Brick House Bones fashion that you can add to your exercise repertoire any which way you like. These are all useful things that you can do every day to improve your posture, your strength, your balance, your mobility, and your power. So please join me. We do need a weight for our halos. You can use a dumbbell or a kettlebell of your choice. That is the only other equipment you need today. We'll be standing for everything else. All right. So if you're new here, this is Brick House Bones. Every week I give four different exercises to just show the wonderful variety of things that we can do to improve our body's resilience and strength and recover from osteoporosis and prevent fractures. If you haven't followed me already, I would be most honored if you would. And for those of you that have been following me, I thank you. I see you. I appreciate you sharing this content with others. When you choose to watch this, you're doing something wonderful for yourself, but when you share it, you are really continuing to help others and this ripple effect that we're doing to serve more people worldwide. And I'm so grateful, thank you. Okay, let's get started. So first up, we're doing hands behind the back. So that's the first H. Let's just start with the arms extended straight out. And I want you to roll the palms up, roll the palms in. This is not the exercise, this is the warm up for the exercise. So we're doing a little rotation here. Good, we'll bring the arms down, bend the elbows with the palms up, reach those thumbs back, big heart, crossing it over. Good, big heart, cross it over. If you're new here, Brick House Bones goes after the four evidence-based methods that we know how exercise can make a huge difference and help protecting our bones and preventing fractures. So we cover episodes that, and exercises for strength, for balance, for posture, and power and impact exercises. All right, you're gonna get my back view. We're starting arms out fully extended, and here's how this is gonna go. This hand's gonna go palm out. This one's gonna stay palm forward. We're reaching behind the back and bringing them as close together as possible while maintaining tall posture and then extending all the way out. And we reverse that. The palm out on the bottom hand, palm towards the spine on the top hand, and then extend. Now this is a marvelous shoulder mobility and posture mobility exercise. This is a really wonderful for helping to maintain the movement and the lubrication in our shoulder joints and helping to improve the posture in our upper back. Extend, let's do two more. Big reach, maintain that tall posture. Good. Good, excellent. So that was our hands behind the back mobility stretch for our posture. Let's bring our feet underneath our hips, and let's rock back and forth a few times here, warming up the ankles for our hang 10. Getting ready, so what we will do is go up on our toes, both feet, staying there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, lower down. If that wasn't easy for you, you're not alone. That can be very, challenging, but it's a wonderful balance exercise and a wonderful way to strengthen the back of our legs to have better ability to correct our balance if we start to fall in the forward direction. Let's do two more of those. So coming up on the toes and hold. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, whew, four, three, two, one. Excellent, there we go. Not easy. I remember first doing this in yoga a hundred years ago and I couldn't do it. It was very, very challenging for me. Okay, last one going up on the toes and 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Right on. Great job. 
All right, so we did it. There's two H's, hands behind the back, and our hang 10. We're moving on to halos now, so grab your weight or dumbbell. I'll show you how to do each one before we do it. So if you're going to do the dumbbell version, you're going to grab your dumbbell like so. It's going to be on the front of your chest with your chest up nice and high. You're going to raise one elbow so that you can get the weight behind your ear or beside your ear. Bring the weight around your head to the other ear so the other elbow goes up and then both elbows drop down. So elbow up, hands behind the head, other elbow up, back here. That's the dumbbell version. Kettlebell version, thumbs go through the horns, as we call it in the kettlebell, fingers wrap around the bell itself. Now, the key with a halo exercise, which is what we're doing, is halos, is that we're using this weight and we need to stabilize the noodle that is our spine with our muscles, with our core. And this is a very functional exercise using our arms to work that. So you want to feel tension and tightness. You want to turn on this middle body so that there's no wiggling while your arms are moving around your head with that weight. Okay, so feet hip width apart, bracing through the middle body, tall posture, keeping that heart up and lifting, coming around to one ear, behind the head, back to the front, and reverse it, other ear, and back to the front. This is a halo. Now light weights, this will be lightly challenging. Heavier weights, it becomes more challenging. And you see, I'm not moving the weight far from my body, but I'm still feeling a lot of work through my middle body. Without our muscles in our core, our spine doesn't have support. If you've ever seen someone who was paralyzed, they can't sit up straight because their muscles don't hold up their spine. Our spine is not as rigid as we think. It has a lot of flexibility built into it. So we need to build that rigidity within our core and the structures in our middle body. Good job. There were your halos. Excellent work. So we did hands behind the back. We did hang 10, we did halos, and now we're doing a Heisman. I call them Heisman. I don't know if it's exactly the Heisman pose, but the, I call this exercise a Heisman. So it's a one, two, three step that ends up in a one-legged balance. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So that's the stepping, and you can do this as a stepping version. One, two, three, hold one two three hold or you can do it faster that is my heisman and when you're doing it faster you are pushing off the ground more you're using more speed and explosiveness and that is the power and the impact on our bones that we're trying to emphasize with that exercise so let's go ahead and do a few of these together at any speed that works well for you Three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Also, sticking the balance on number three with good control, pushing off side to side. Touch down. Strong work, everybody. Thanks. I think this was a really great episode. Really great exercises in here that you can work on all week long and all year long. You can sprinkle these into any program you're already doing. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.